Hey everybody, so FireTech is a wireless firework firing system. That means there's no physical cables needed between the controllers or the modules, but you do still need cables to connect the firing modules themselves to the rails into which the igniters then connect. Unlike many other firing systems which use proprietary cables and connections, FireTech use readily available RJ45 network cables for those connections between the modules and the rails. But as Pyronut94 commented on one of my other FireTech videos, what network cables do you use? There's a sea of cables out there. And Pyronut94 is right, there are so many different network cables out there, which are the best ones to use for FireTech, or indeed any firing system which uses RJ45 network cables. So in this video I'm going to highlight 9 factors that will help you determine which network cables to use with FireTech. So let's start off with factor number 1. That didn't sound very dramatic, did it? Maybe if I put a whoosh sound and some reverb on, let's try it again. Factor number one. <laughs> and we need to talk first about AWG, that's American Wire Gauge. Now, AWG is a measure of the cross-sectional area of a wire, and that's an important factor in determining its current carrying capability. Lots of alliteration there. Now, the bigger the cross-sectional area of a wire, the lower its resistance, and so the more current that it can carry. It can get a little confusing as you'd think the higher a wire's AWG number, the more cross-sectional area it has, but actually increasing AWG gauge numbers denote logarithmically decreasing wire diameters. What does that mean? So basically it means the lower the AWG number, the more current that wire can carry. Cheaper network cables typically have an AWG number of 26, which is fine in many networking scenarios for computers, but of course when used for computer networking there's usually not a lot of current flowing through those cables. And that's different with a firework firing system. With FireTech there may be in excess of 10 amps flowing through the firing cables. So whilst 26 AWG cables may work with FireTech over very short distances, I'd recommend that you look instead for 24 AWG gauge cables. If you can find even lower number AWG cables, cables, 23 or 22 AWG for example, even better. But then usually the lower number AWG gauge the cable, the more expensive it becomes. Factor number two. So the next factor is a choice between copper or CCA. CCA means copper clad aluminium. So that's a wire which has an aluminium core with copper plating around the outside of it. The benefits over that over a pure copper wire is that it's cheaper and lighter. But the drawbacks of CCA wire is that the aluminium core does not conduct electricity as well as copper. As a result, CCA cables do create more heat under general usage and they can create dangerous levels of heat under extreme loads. So for those reasons, avoid CCA copper core aluminium cables and instead go for pure copper network cables. Factor number three. Okay, so let's talk about whether we should go for a solid copper core or a stranded copper core cable. Now, solid copper cores have much more surface area than stranded copper, so there's less attenuation over long distances. But they're not as durable as stranded cables, which are a lot more flexible and will potentially last longer than solid core ones. So whether you choose solid core or stranded core copper, it's really up to you. If you're firing talons on really long cable runs, solid core is probably the better option. But for everything else, stranded works just as well. Factor number four. Right, so do we need UTP, FTP or STP cables? Let's talk about those in a little bit more detail. UTP stands for Unshielded Twisted Pair, FTP stands for Foiled Twisted Pair, and STP stands for Shielded Twisted Pair. As the name suggests, UTP cables don't have any shielding. The cables have a single plastic sleeve of insulation around the wires. In contrast, FTP cables have a metal shield around all pairs, and STP cables have a metal shield around each individual pair of wires, and an overall shield around all pairs. The metal shields in FTP and STP network cables protect the wires from EMI, electromagnetic interference, and crosstalk. In some computer networking environments, these are important considerations. However, for fire tech, for our firing system, we're not sending high speed data down these cables, we're sending power a lot of power, and therefore UTP cables, which are generally cheaper than their FTP and STP counterparts, do the job well. Factor number five. 
And on the subject of five, let's talk about five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. No, not the 90s pop song by Steps. I'm talking categories of network cables. Does it matter whether you go for a Cat 5e, Cat 6, Cat 7, Cat 8 with your firing system? It really doesn't matter. Basically, the higher the category number of the network cable, the better data transmission speeds over greater distances. That's not applicable to our firing systems because we're not sending data. We're sending raw power. Raw power. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist putting an effect on that as well. Factor number six. Length. Keep your cables as short as possible. And this becomes more important if you're firing talons or multiple EMATCH igniters on a single channel. I have done some testing of length of cables with talons and there'll be a video coming up of that uh, in the future. But the shorter you can keep your network cables for your firing system, the better. I have some really short 50 centimeter ones that I use just for testing. And then I have a variety of different lengths as well. One meter, two meter, three meter, five meter. I do have some slightly longer 10, 15 and 20 meters, but generally I don't use those three meters five meters that should be all you need because you can have your fire tech modules really close to your rails the modules themselves are fire retardant they have cases as well so they can be relatively close you don't have to have them hundreds of meters away factor number seven so our seventh factor is color the color of the cables i'm going to suggest you make them as bright as you can i've got a load of bright pink ones for my fire tech system and actually quite often the obscure colored ones are actually cheaper than going for black or gray why go for colour ones? Well, in the dark, you're going to have cables laid out over your firing site, potentially on grass. And so you want a colour that you're going to be able to visibly see so you can minimise the likelihood of them being a trip hazard. Factor number eight. Snagless. I would suggest you go for snagless network cables. What does snagless mean? It means it has a little protective boot or shield or notch above the little plastic tabs you depress to plug the cable in and out. If you're coiling up these cables on a firing site, those little plastic tabs on the RJ45 connectors break off really easily. So if you can get ones that are snagless, it means the cable's not going to snag on anything and those little plastic tabs are going to stay there on the connectors. And finally... Factor number nine. It's worth looking at low smoke zero halogen or LSZH cables. These are special cables which emit limited smoke and no halogen when exposed to high sources of heat. Now, of course, when using these in firework firing systems, there is a real chance that some of these cables are going to get damaged. They are going to get singed. They're going to get scorched. They're going to get burnt. So by having ones that emit low smoke and zero halogen, it's going to be better for everyone, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, that's perhaps more of an issue if you're doing something indoors in a confined space than outdoors. But uh, really, it doesn't cost a lot more, if anything, to get cables that are rated LSZH. So those are my nine factors of things to look for when deciding on network cables for your firing system. Let's just summarise those really quickly. So in summary, your FireTech cables should ideally be 24 AWG. Lower AWG numbers than this are even better. Copper, not copper clad aluminium. UTP rather than FTP or STP, kept as short as possible, be as visible as possible, be snagless, and be low smoke, zero halogen. So I hope that's been useful in allowing you to determine which are the best network cables to buy for your fire tech or other firing system that uses RJ45 network cables. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to my channel for more great firework content?